okay now you understood everything related to sql how you need to use it in apex how you need to iterate the list that you have got as a result from the sql but there are some other things as well that i need to explain it uh, explain to you so here is a simple program uh, just have a look at the first query that i have written over here so in this first query if you'll see i have written down select and then the first name last name email so all of these three are the fields into the contact object and i've written down all the fields and then i'm writing down from contact that's object and where first name is equals to john and i have passed this john's value as uh, like in the, in the in the string and this is a static value that cannot be changed on runtime of this program it will always return me results where the first name is john but what about if i want uh, my user to give me an input and based on that i should find the contacts getting it like imagine you are using a page and while using that page you are just writing down john so in, at that point of time all the contacts that has the first name as john should be given to you but if you write down paul at that time it should return the results uh, of the contacts uh, whose first name is paul so that means the value is dynamic so if the value is dynamic then you cannot give it statically like i have given it over here like this john so what what to do in this case like what what can we do so for that apex provides you or basically sql uh, yeah sql or apex whatever it is uh, sql provides you with another concept which is called as sql variable binding i repeat sql variable binding in which you can use a a, a variables value inside a sql query so let me explain you how it basically works in here you're getting uh, like the argument you're getting that name paul mark john whatever it is as an argument from your user and that is getting stored into inside s which is a variable of apex nothing else and you need to store this uh, like you need to compare the first name from this value how are you going to do that so for that what you can do is you just need to write down the same query that you have written over here select first name comma last name comma email from contact where first name equals to and instead of giving a static value like this uh, john in strings you need to write down that variable name but you need to uh, first like precede that variable name with a colon so what this does is it automatically understands like the apex compiler automatically understands that if in inside uh, like if in inside an sql uh, we have written down a variable or what uh, or anything which is preceded uh, by a colon so in that case it will automatically search for the value that is present into that particular variable and will search according to that inside the database let me repeat it once again what it's it's going to do is this s is a variable right okay let me create a diagram for you guys so uh, you're getting some value inside s so whatever x y z and this like you want if you you're getting x y z value then you need to compare it with x y z if you're getting z z z as a value then you need to compare it with z z z so in that case you need to use this variable inside soql because the value with which you are comparing it is dynamic so you need to just append uh, this uh, variable with append not append precede this variable with a colon in order to get it get its value now if we'll use colon s and inside s we have z z z then it will automatically replace this colon s with string z z z